take a look at the latest generation of my uh, pedal generator. So I've got this uh, 24-volt, 500-watt uh, e-bike motor um, connected with a uh, originate sprocket uh, that drives the chain. Uh, I've added this flywheel um, that's uh, it's about 30 pounds. So then we come up with that wire out of the e-bike motor and it comes up into uh, this box I have up on top. And then I have this uh, bridge rectifier that's got the alternating current wires that go into that. And then on the other side of it, um, the direct current comes out and goes to this meter. Um, and from this meter, I go over to a switch uh, that connects me to these two batteries. So if we turn on the switch, um, that will give me a reading on the batteries. So we know, we can see that uh, the batteries statically are at about 25 volts. So that means I've got two uh, lead acid batteries here hooked in series. So the switch uh, connects the rest of the circuit together. So this is the second switch. This one will actually power up my um, quick charger for my LiPo battery which comes back to these two, bi two wires here, which is actually um, taking the 24 volt directly versus the uh, charge controller uh, setup, which takes the 24 volts in, has 12 volts coming out, and then goes to these sockets over here, which I use to charge my uh, Makita battery charger or plug in the sockets to, pl to charge um, uh, battery banks and laptops and what have you. Uh, so then I also have a couple of wires coming off of this that run over to a, a fan that's over here that actually cools the bridge rectifier. Uh, and I've got another fan down below here uh, that actually cools me. <laughs> uh, and then I've actually I have uh, other fans that I, another fan I put up on top uh, that's, a, that's a 12 volt fan. Um, so that really is the circuit. Um, so there you have it. Hey everybody, so let's see how we wire this whole system together. So first of all, we've got the uh, e-bike motor, which uh, this is this guy right here. Um, it's I put a uh, uh, sprocket on there to connect it to the bike trainer. And then coming out of that, um, the e-bike motor itself is a, a wire that has um, actually a couple different sets of wires. So you've got these um, Hall effect wires that are used to calculate speed and so on. Uh, but then you have the three alternating current wires that come out uh, that give us uh, some, uh, some voltage that we have to, we want to convert to uh, alternating current or from alternating current into direct current. So to do that, we use a bridge rectifier. So the bridge rectifier has uh, three posts that take the alternating current in and then we have two uh, direct current uh, uh, posts that come out. So we lose about a volt um, going through this bridge rectifier. Uh, so that amounts to about five watts total. Coming out of that uh, bridge rectifier, we got about 18 to 40 volts, uh, depending on how fast I spin the, the e-bike motor. Uh, so I do need to keep track of how high I go on the voltage. So that's where this meter really comes in handy, along with telling us how many watts and volts and so on that we're actually generating. Uh, but I wanna keep track of, uh, like I say, the, the high end. I don't wanna go above 30 volts because I am going into two batteries that I have in series uh, that um, they'll take about 15 uh, volts each, uh, charging volts is at, at peak. Um, but we don't want to go above that. So I have these two wire, two of these um, seven amp hour uh, AGM batteries wired in series. Um, and so I can go up to about 30 volts with uh, my pedal generating and uh, I'm not gonna harm these batteries. If I go more than that, it's gonna be a problem. So that's where that meter really comes in handy. Um, along with telling me how many watt hours I generate. I have the switch on here. When I turn the switch on, it'll actually activate the meter and tell me how, what the current reading, uh, volt reading is on these two batteries together. So then the next step uh, down the line here is um, I've got another switch that will turn on two different things. So the first thing it turns on is my charge controller. So I have this charge controller that will take uh, the 24 volts up to 30 volts. Actually, this one 
will take up to 60 volts uh, in, uh, and uh, it's a 15 amp out, so that's about 180 watts. Uh, this charge controller is the other one I actually have that I have on the e-bike right now is a 240 watt variety. Uh, so then, coming out of that, um, I just have a bunch of these sockets. I have four of these sockets uh, that I can plug uh, automotive type charger um, components into. So the other thing coming off of this switch is this ISDT uh, smart charger. So this charger will actually charge my um, LiPo battery. Um, I actually just bought this monster 1600 milliamp hour, 177 watt hour, ginormous 11 volt battery, 11.1 volt battery. Um, so what's cool about that is I, uh, I'm dumping, uh, I can dump about 170 watts into that LiPo battery using the smart charger. So it's a four, the peak of this uh, uh, charger is 14 amps. So that's about 170, 177 I think is the top end of, of that one. So when I'm working out, I, uh, when I'm using the pedal generator, I sometimes will have more going to the step down voltage regula regulator. So charging like a maybe a laptop and uh, some battery packs or something. So if I if I feel like I'm I have enough resistance there and I don't need a ton on this side, then maybe I'll make this you know 10 amps instead of uh, the full 14 amp. So we start out with the the e-bike motor, go to the bridge rectifier with a meter thrown in there, a switch to turn it all on, a couple of batteries. Now. Uh, let me step back a little bit. If you have a, the 24 volt e-bike motors are getting a little harder to find, but if you had a 36 volt e-bike motor or a 48 volt e-bike motor, um, so 36 volt, you would just add one more battery to the series. To the series, so you get to, so you got 36 volts instead of uh, 24. Um, if you had a, tw a 48 volt uh, e-bike motor, then you do four batteries. Um, run those in series, get to 48 volts. So. Uh, you could certainly do that, and then the other piece you'd have to switch out is the um, the uh, regulator. So there's uh, 36 volt and 48 volt regulators uh, that you could use to switch down to 12 volt to do the uh, sockets. Thank <laughs> you.